know, we got to talk about the weather too, because <laughs> people, a lot of people want to go outside. It looks like a pretty active radar behind you, Kelly. Yes, we are still working with a lot of rain here across the Pacific Northwest. Our current system rolled in yesterday, did bring some heavy showers through Portland. Out towards the coast, we tracked nearly an inch of rain in some spots. That was out towards Tillamook. Uh, the foothills of the coast range, some of those spots saw closer to two inches. In Portland, just over a third of an inch of rain through yesterday, and we're tracking some damp weather this morning as some light showers continue to push on through here from the southwest. So this morning I will say I think we'll stay mainly cloudy. Just some light sprinkles throughout the morning time. Mild too. Many spots here are in the upper 50s to low 60s. There is a chance we see a record warm start to today. If we don't dip below 59 degrees, that will be a new record warm start. And again, we've been sitting in the 60s this morning. So enjoy that mild morning here. Again, could feel a little muggy by the afternoon. We'll see highs back in the mid 60s with scattered spotty light showers into the afternoon. Say good morning to Daisy, who looked like uh, she had a blast out towards uh uh, some sunny areas around uh, Vancouver over the weekend or maybe on Monday. So thank you for setting that in. Again, temperatures are in the upper 50s to about 60 degrees here around the west sides of the Portland metro area. 62 degrees right now out of PDX and uh, 63 there in Vancouver. So very warm start. Here's a rainfall future cast. This model again pushing those scattered showers through the valley as we head towards our late morning and early afternoon. So today we will still see some wet moments here as those showers work on in. We keep that unsafe settled weather through Thursday morning where we could see even heavier showers pushing on in. And then by Thursday night, we see another system again developing here and scooting into the valley. So we'll see some more widespread steady rainfall here across the valley and the coast by the time we hit tomorrow night. And this system rolling in will drag in some much cooler air from the north, and that will bring a chance for some significant snowfall for the Oregon Cascades, mostly out towards the central portions. That's Mount Bachelor and maybe Sisters getting some significant snowfall. But even the high desert out towards Bend and portions of central Eastern Oregon could see some light accumulating snowfall with this system rolling in again. That's on Friday even into our Saturday. So we'll track that winter weather here as it arrives over the weekend and we get real cold. Take a look at our snow totals forecast again out towards Mount Bachelor. Good chance we see maybe a foot of snow. So good to see that significant round of snow here and we'll likely get more of that heading into our November and as we approach our winter season. But uh, take a look. Bend, Oregon could see maybe four and a half inches of snow. We'll track that total it will likely adjust as we uh, see this system rolling in and we get closer to that Friday and Saturday mark. But a uh, chance for some winter weather here in central and eastern Oregon as we head towards the weekend. Here's our temperature trend in Portland, too. We'll see that cold air sticking in the city. So by about Friday and over the weekend, our high temperatures dipping to the low 50s, upper 40s. Looks like a very cold weekend with our overnight lows uh, near freezing, likely by the weekend, too. So bundle up this weekend. We do dry up, but... Uh, we will see those colder temperatures seeping on in and we'll be tracking some soggy conditions as we finish out this work week. Carly. Well, it's 620.